Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. Um, this is gonna be a little bit different, and yes, I'm wearing pants, I just have like shorts on. <laughs> I'm actually filming from the um, the second bedroom in um, the house, which is like the guest bedroom slash the storage, so that's why it looks a little weird where there's like an empty mattress there. <laughs> so I got my fuzzy pillow. Um, I know that I wasn't able to jump on and do a talk tarot with me this week it was a rather busy week um i was working a lot which i've been working a lot lately um i you know it's a part-time job and whatnot but i don't know the schedule the way she does the schedules and stuff it's like it's a lot it's a lot of days um but anyways this video is going to be about the pros and cons of reading tarot for someone else's business, um, reading tarot at events, that kind of thing, because that's that's what I wanted to do the discussion live on Instagram. But since I wasn't able to do that, I figured let's just do a video on YouTube. So the pros and cons. Um, I'm gonna start with working like reading in a shop. So all of these are 100% my personal opinion. Um, I have had experience with all of these topics that I will be talking about. Um, and so just take whatever works and leave everything else. <laughs> so working in a crystal shop, I read for two different shops. Um, the first one, I was only there about a month, maybe not even, not even two months, maybe a month and a half. And... I immediately did not vibe with the energy in that sh in that store. Um, there was a very prominent belief system that <clears throat> the majority of the people who worked there were participating in, and I didn't resonate with it. Um, I wasn't. I'm not like discounting that what they believe in is wrong. I'm just saying it didn't fall with my own personal beliefs and it got to the point where I was feeling like they were trying to like trying to to reel you in to follow the same um faith that they were part of so I didn't really like that because I I was strictly going into this wanting to read tarot for the shop so I can get access to reading for clients in person so I can gain that experience. So that was a turnoff and because of it, I made the decision not to stay. Um, I, g I gave like a, just some random reason why I was leaving. I didn't really state that it was because I was uncomfortable and I didn't like the vibe um, because I just didn't feel like it was right to say that because it, it seemed like I was being very judgmental and it, it could be maybe I was judgmental, but I was uncomfortable and I just didn't, I didn't feel like I was supposed to be a part of that, um, that group. So I trusted what I was feeling and I left. Um, the second shop I worked for, I was reading there from last year. It was from April through, um, October because November, December, I was kind of starting to drift away from it. Um, but for a good amount of time, I was actually reading there consistently. I was reading there Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, every once in a while, I would pick up a weekend. And um, I loved it. You know, the vibe at this shop was really nice. And I got along with everybody that worked there. And I met a lot of amazing people. And um, it was great. But the pro of working, the pros of working in someone else's business are you are going to meet a lot of different clients you're going to grow your own personal reputation people will leave reviews about you people will um, do like the whole word of mouth they're gonna share with their friends or whoever oh so-and-so is a really good reader you should go check them out they're over here so you get a lot of like a lot of publicity, a lot of advertising um, by word of mouth. So that's definitely a pro. Another pro is um, a lot of practice. If you are not comfortable with reading in person, by reading in a shop, you are 
literally expected to put this role out there and, and do this. And, and I was nervous. <laughs> I'll admit I was nervous. I read for people in person, but it was mainly friends, you know, coworkers or, or my husband, but actually like getting the exchange of money, you know, being paid and, or being tipped and, and all of that and reading for people face to face, um, was very, exciting but it was very nerve-wracking I was very nervous but it really helped pull me out of my shell so that's another pro um I would also say that the tools to enhance your growth and your ability to read um are available to you when you are working in a shop you have obviously the tools that they sell so the crystals the books um the decks you know sometimes you'll get a perk like you'll get a percentage discount because you work there. Um, <clears throat> the resources are there and then you get first pick at the classes too, which I jumped on. I was, um, I signed myself up and I purchased a psychic development class and I was in it for six, I think it was six weeks. And it was an, an amazing class. That was actually what sparked me to trust what I was seeing in my third eye for aura readings. And now that's what I do now. So <laughs> it really works. Um, but I would say, let's talk about the cons though, because there's a lot of pros for it. Um, I'm not knocking it. I'm very grateful for my experience reading in a, in a metaphysical or a crystal shop. But the cons are you are at the mercy of the shop owner and the shop owner's ethics. So just because you personally have your own um, ethics, which like for me, I don't do law, legal readings. I don't do, obviously not, I don't do lottery numbers. I don't do any medical diagnosis. I don't do anything like that. Um, but when you are reading for someone else's store, you are required to, you know, fulfill the answers that your clients are asking you, but you are not you don't have the ability to show them, oh, this is my ethics page. Here's a list of all the things that I do and don't do. Um, you pretty much are going into it blind. So you will be asked to, you will be assigned or assigned, <laughs> you will be scheduled a reading with someone where you don't even know what they're gonna ask. You just know, okay, you have an appointment at this day and time. It depends on, like I said, it really depends on the ethics of the shop owner. Some shop owners, I'm sure, are very good at um, getting a feel of what the client wants, what they need, and then sending them over to the appropriate reader. Um, but if your shop owner is more, oh yeah, you want a reading? Come on in, you know, <laughs> and doesn't really gauge what that reader or what that client is looking for, then you've got to kind of prepare yourself for being asked just about anything under the sun. Um, and I have definitely had my share of moments where I was sitting in the room with a client who was just throwing question after question at me. And it was like, they just wanted a quick answer because they wanted to use up the most of their time because they were paying for their hour or they were paying for their minute or whatever. So, you know, that was a little nerve wracking um, because you're go like I said, you're going into it blind. You don't know ahead of time what this client wants or what they need. So you're kind of just sitting there thinking, OK, <laughs> I'm going to read for, for just about anything under the sun. Um, luckily for me, I didn't have to worry about like the medical related questions and all of that. I never encountered any of that, but I did encounter the client being persistent and wanting quick yes no answers and I also experienced where they didn't like the answer I was giving them so because of that I had to kind of not persuade them for why I was giving them the answer but just explain this is the way the cards are reading and you're gonna get that you're gonna get a client who's not gonna like it and they're gonna argue with you now it's different when you're in this dialogue with a client online in email versus in person. Um, it's a very different experience. So 
that's a that's more like a con with doing these things in person um what else the pay scale um when you are reading for yourself with your own business and you don't have to worry about getting a having a percentage taken out of your pay um you get to set your own rates and the rate that you set is what is going to be paid for when you're working in a shop it's usually a percentage of what you are making is taken out that goes to the shop and that's understandable because their business they need to make money you know but if you are trying to make a certain amount of money each day or for the week you know to survive you really gotta you know advertise and push yourself so it's really it's a lot like you're hustling <laughs> you're hustling for your readings and it could get a little exhausting um so the con of that is like you're not really setting your own prices you are going by the prices that the shop wants if the shop wants you to charge sixty dollars for a 30 minute reading they're going to make you do it but you're not going to get that entire amount you're going to get the percentage after they take out theirs um, I don't know like how like what everybody does, but from my experience, the two shops I worked at, one took 50%, the other one took 35, 35 to 40, depending on the situation. So it just, it's a range. Um, but the good, the good thing about that was you really start to value your time. Um, when you notice that, when you notice that like, People who walk into a store are willing to pay a certain amount of money to, to listen to you and to have you read their cards. It's very empowering. So I would say it builds my confidence, but at the same time, having a chunk of what I made being taken from me, um, let's say if it was a very difficult client, was hard. <laughs> so, you know, that's the other thing. Um, a, good, a good pro for it is you get tips. Um, if the client chooses to tip you, uh, what else? I think it's also just like, it's just a lot of experience. Like I, I took my experience with reading in the shops to be very valuable, but in the end I decided it wasn't for me. Um, I prefer reading for myself with my own business um, I prefer the online. I love doing in person, but I would rather, I would rather just be in control of everything, in control of the types of clients that I am taking in, the the subject matter of what they want readings about. Um, I want to know ahead of time so I can prepare. I don't like to go into it blind. Um, and then I also reserve the right to say, you know what, I don't align with that question. Either we reword it or. I won't do the reading so it's really you know you have more freedom that way um, so I would say you know if you are looking to expand your horizons and to get practice and to gain more experience and yes reading in shops is amazing you'll get that for sure you will build your reputation but when it comes to building yourself and and if you really want to be your own boss and that kind of thing stick with your own thing um it's good experience but in the end it's more it's more valuable to be your own your own leader and to do your own thing building it from yourself you know you're building it yourself from the ground up um the same thing goes for like the hotline um i've done that too last year <laughs> um i did the not so much the phone but more of the text so there's like the text chat you could do there is a couple of them that i was doing i think it was zodiac psychics and purple ocean purple ocean i still do every once in a while the nature of the hotline stuff is very different the kind of clients that you get for like your in-person or your online clients are very different from your hotline clients <laughs> the hotline clients are paying by the minute and they want the most that they could get within that minute time frame because they don't want to have to pay a lot. So a lot of your hotline psychics or a lot of your hotline um, clients are looking for um, 
more answers, more description, more detail in a less amount of time with less pay. They, they want a bargain. They are looking for cheap, quick readings. So I would say the hotlines really help build your skill to read in a pickle, <laughs> to read really fast, you know, rather than like taking your time and making a whole, you know, ritual out of your reading, you're really just pulling cards real quick, giving the answer, boom, 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 you're good, you know. So I would say like the hotline experience is good to help push you your stamina, um, to get you quick with reading, but at the same time, the topics that you're reading about, the questions are more very like shallow questions. Does so-and-so like me? Does so-and-so think about me? <laughs> Is so-and-so the one? Those are the kind of questions you're receiving with the hotline. Um, so is that something that I want to do all the time? No. Is it something that I do for a quick buck? Yes. Um, and it's also just good experience. It's good. It's good. It's just fun. I think that every reader should, you know, test little things out to see what works for you. But... Overall, I decided that I am best leading myself and doing my own thing, whether it's it's a slow, steady pace. It takes time, you guys. It takes time to build your reputation. It takes time to build your clients. It takes time to build your following. <laughs> but if you stick with it, you will grow and you will notice your growth through the, t through the years. Um, I started selling my readings in 2013 and it's now 2018, eight, seven, six, five, five years. And I have seen a consistent growth. Um, I'm nowhere near where other people are at and people have double the following that I do, but I'm happy with my own personal growth because I see it. And I've put myself in situations, like I said, with the online, the in-person, the shop reading, the hotline, to see where I fit. What kind of a reader am I? And I have decided that I am just a plain old online email readings, video readings, snail mail, and in-person person. I don't do well with the reading for the shops. I don't want to be under someone else giving a percentage of what I make, my hard-earned money, to someone else. That is the whole point of doing the online tarot biz. That is the whole point of the Cackling Moon, is to be my own boss. So I tried it, it didn't work. Um, I I recommend, you know, for anyone who wants to practice or see, maybe it will, it will work for you. It's not for everybody, um, but it's a really good experience, so I don't regret it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. I just wanted to kind of <laughs> give you a little, just a little like chat about, you know, the pros and cons of that kind of stuff. If you guys have questions, um, comment below. I would love to hear from you. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get on and do a talk tarot with me this week. So we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, enjoy. Um, happy reading and just, you know, Keep on going, you guys. I'll see you later.